Mao Zedong wore some variation of this same suit for most of his life. It became so closely associated with Chinese communism and with Mao himself that it's often referred to as a Mao suit in the West. But its origins predate Mao's rise. In China, it's called a Zhongshan suit, after the leader who actually introduced it, Chinese revolutionary Sun Yat-sen, who also went by Sun Zhongshan. Sun Yat-sen was a key figure in the 1911 overthrow of China's last imperial dynasty, the Qing dynasty, and served as the Republic of China's first president. Sun sought to introduce a practical form of national dress that reflected a modernizing world, but remained distinctly Chinese. His new suit incorporated the high, unfolded collar seen on traditional tunic jackets worn during the Qing dynasty, but worn over pants rather than over a robe per Qing-era tradition. As for Mao, the modified Zhangshan suit he wore included a turndown collar, plus four military-style front pockets and exactly five buttons down the center. This is the suit that he turned into his trademark, and the one Chinese Communist Party leaders still occasionally wear to this day.